What is up, my family? It's your girl T, aka the Nappy Headed Jehovah, back with another Save Your Money Saturday. I've done these the past two weeks, and I was just like, why not? Let's do another one. You guys seem to be liking it. For the unaware, Save Your Money Saturday is just something I've been doing because it's been inspired by a little financial lifestyle and health challenge we have going on called Make It Happen March. If you want to find out more about the challenge and maybe even join in, I will link the video where I explain all the rules right here. And due to popular requests, here is a quick interruption, uh, a quick Ray Ray break. A few of you guys have been asking how she is. She's the same old Ray Ray, still the bearded lady, still will not let me live, follows me step to step from room to room. But she's good, she's a great dog as always. Don't you lick off my makeup. NTA, make it happen March. We're trying to save money this month by not doing any unnecessary spending, any impulse buying. And since I'm about to head out of here on a date, I actually needed to beat my face and I figured I may as well film it. However, most of the get ready with me videos that I see on YouTube are people trying out a bunch of new products or at least a selection of new, of new products. There tends to be very much a focus on what's new, what's getting a lot of hype right now. So for my get ready with me today, I decided to do the opposite. I wanted to focus on things that are not new, that have zero hype, that are not talked about pretty much at all. That isn't to say that they didn't have hype perhaps at some point in the past, but the main point is I wanted to use products that are permanent, meaning that if you see something that tickles your pickle, you'll actually be able to pick it up if you like. So there's nothing discontinued or limited edition or anything that's kind of building into that I must buy this now kind of thing. These are products that will more or less always be around, although generally whenever I mention something I like in a YouTube video, that is the kiss of death for something then becoming discontinued within days of the upload. But as of now, all of these products are definitely available and most of them are not all that new. There's a couple things that are new-ish, but I included them because I love them and no one talks about them and I just wanted to show them a little bit of YouTube love since they ain't getting any anywhere else. And beyond that, everything else are are just tried and true, either cult classics or just solid products that no one talks about anymore because everyone is always on to the next thing here on YouTube and on Instagram. So let's go ahead and jump into the get ready with me where you can see how I did, did this to my face. I'm starting off by priming my eyes with my NARS eyeshadow primer. This is one of the tinted versions. I've been using the clear one for years and right now, I'm trying out a tinted one, so far so good. And I'm just smoothing that over my eyeballs with my finger. Then I'm using my NARS bronzer, which I love to use as my transition shade. So I use this all the time and just sweep it through my crease. And then I blend it out on the outer edge of my eye as well in that so-called outer V. And then I'm gonna go in with my palette. Today I'm using this Cool Tone palette from Dose of Colors, and I'm mixing those two shades together and stamping it on my eyelid and then blending it out into the shape that I want at the edges. And as you can see, they come out a lot more pigmented and dark on my eyelids than they look in the pan, so don't be deceived. Going back in with that same brush that I used to lay down my bronzer and my crease, I've added no additional product and I'm just blending everything together. Then I'm gonna go in with this gel pencil from Julep, which I love. This is in a very dark brown shade, and I've been using this like crazy since I bought it. It's just the perfect tone when you don't wanna go as stark as black, but you still want something that will show up on brown skin. And I just blend that out along my lash line with a smudger brush. And here I am tight lining, which always looks kind of gruesome adding some lashes and there we go. And now I'm just painting my natural lashes that have a little bit of shadow on them so that they'll blend with the false lashes because I hate mascara so I basically just don't wear it and find that my lashes blend with fake lashes just fine as long as I make sure they're not covered in eyeshadow. Then running over that lash band with my smudger brush, no additional product added in case there's any point where the lash glue looks a bit shiny or where the lash band will be snitching on me. Now I'm going to use this Becca Mattifying Primer on my T-zone only because I do like rather glossy skin. So I'm only putting it in the places where I don't want to get shiny. I wanna be glossy but not 
shiny or sweaty looking. Following up with this Becca Skin Love Elixir. This product is newish to me. I've only been using it a couple months, but I love it. It gives my skin a really healthy, radiant glow. It's really awesome on days where I don't wanna wear any coverage at all, but I just want my skin to look really healthy and luminous. But it also pairs really well with coverage. And in this case, I'm using one of my go-tos, my ColourPop concealer, which I told you guys was one of my 2018 favorites, and it is still going strong. Here I am going in with my Ela Masca contour stick. If you're a ride or die, you'll have seen this before as well. And I just feel like this is one of the most underrated products out there. I've loved it for so long and I use it all the time. I just draw that in the hollows of my cheeks where I see a natural shadow and then blend it out. Going in with another product that some of you guys will have seen me use a few times before. This is the Benefit Benetint. I love this in keeping with that glossy skin theme because it really just makes your cheeks look juicy. Speaking of juice, we have this Becca highlighting stick, which I picked up a few months ago as well. And this is another just unsung hero of my makeup routine that I've literally never seen anyone mention on YouTube before. But as you can see here, I just stopped so that you guys can see the kind of natural dew and gloss it gives to my skin without being glittery. Then I'm taking my smudger brush one more time and running those shades under my lash line and making sure everything connects at the outer edge of my eye. And then I'm taking exactly that much of this lighter shade just to diffuse those colors down below my lash line to make everything look a lot more blended. Going in with some mascara on my lower lashes. This one is by MAC and just cleaning up any hunks of mascara that got on my skin, as well as any excess concealer that might be starting to crease. Now that I've gotten rid of the creasing, I can set my under eyes with some powder, as well as anywhere else where I find that I tend to get a little bit oilier, a little bit faster, and I don't want my coverage wearing away. Time for brows, and you guys couldn't see that at all, but that's a pencil by ColourPop. And I'm just doing the classic hair-like strokes, as everyone likes to say, to fill in my brows a bit more. I don't need to do much because my eyebrows are microbladed. Just to keep my natural hairs where I actually put them, I put in some brow gel, and this is also by ColourPop. Going back in with my bronzer, this time I'm actually gonna bronze with it rather than put it on my eyeballs. And I like to dust that a little bit on the center of my face just because that is where the sun would naturally hit. Now it's time for finishing powder. I'm using my Guerlain Meteorites and then I just stamp that once I have the most product on the brush and then once I've stamped it all over my face, that's when I actually start to do my buffing to really buff that finishing powder in and get all of my products to kind of blend together. I wanted to bump up slash set my highlight as well since it was sort of that balmy texture. So I went ahead and topped off the Becca stick with this hourglass highlighter that I've used for years and I'm just setting my face with a little bit of this Cover FX mattifying setting spray. And then following that up with some MAC Fix Plus to make sure that there's no powderiness left since I was so sparing with the Cover FX one and to also make sure that I get the most out of the highlighted areas of my face. Time for my red lip, I'm gonna line first. Then I'm using one of my all-time favorite reds, and this is MAC Russian Red. Everyone always talks about Ruby Woo, and I feel like Russian Red does not get the love it deserves. I think it is the perfect classic red. It's not orangey red, it's not super blue, it's just a perfect, true red. And then here's my little trick to make sure that I don't get any lipstick on my teeth, even though sometimes I still manage to do so anyway. 
And because I'm just trying to fit in in these YouTube streets, here are the requisite slow-mo, super awkward to film and even more awkward to edit shots of the final look. And there you have it. This is actually a pretty straightforward, simple makeup. I'm really loving pretty much all of the products that I used because these are the ones that I've been reaching for the most. That Dose of Colors palette, I have reached for that probably nine times out of 10 the last few times I've had to do my makeup. And that Julep eyeliner as well. I mean, those of you who actually check my description box to see my makeup, because I always list my makeup in my description box of my videos these days, you'll see that that pencil just keeps coming back because I use it so, so much. This video is no exception. Everything I use will be linked in the description box if you see something that interests you and you wanna check it out. And the good news is none of these products should be going anywhere as far as I know. So there is no frenzy about them to buy them before the limited edition run is over and they sell out or whatever. They're just solid products that I love and that I reach for and that I stand behind and that I feel comfortable actually recommending to y'all. More importantly, they're products that work and give me the result that I'm going for. And it makes me happy to know that I don't need to go out looking for what's new and what's next. I've got great stuff that I love that works for me. So let me use what I have and be happy with it. That is going to do it for this Save Your Money Saturday. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, but I have got to get out of here and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye. That's, that's a nappy-headed hose there, I'm gonna tell you that now. <laughs>